when should I pre-drop? Pre-dropping is a way of managing your resources. Um, now, typically, you may have a group of, say, nine planes. This is a pretty standard configuration. So with nine planes, if you're looking at how many planes you might lose as you come in to strike a ship, if that number is maybe one and a half because the ship has mediocre AA, then you'll be able to come in with nine, lose one and a half. That'll take you down to seven and a half planes. You'll shoot with three, and those three will go home, leaving you with four and a half planes, which you can then swing around, come back in, and make a second strike, losing another one and a half on the way, and then with those last three, you strike and they leave. In this instance, you've been able to get two strikes off because you brought nine planes. But a common thing that CVs will do is they're told, well, if you save resources, you can just pre-drop one. That way you're always banking a few planes for the late game or for later down the road. Well, in this case, if you only had the six planes, when you took your minus three, you'd go down to 4.5, shoot with your three and leave and be stuck with one and a half, which is not going to make it on the return leg. So in this case, your CV and the enemy ship over here, you've spent an entire 40 something seconds or more going all the way from point A to point B to find a ship only to shoot him once and then leave. As opposed to if you brought nine, you could shoot him twice. That being said, there is a reason to pre-drop. And the reason to pre-drop is, is this going to be a one-way trip? Essentially, are you going to be able to strike once or are you going to be able to strike twice? Well, what does that look like? Well, I guess we're out of uh, we're out of return stuff. So we're going to draw a second ship and pretend that this ship is able to support his uh, their friend. And because this second ship is here, it's going to change the math. It's going to change the numbers. So we can go through and we can look at you know what this other ship's AA range might be. This is going to be a long range and give them a medium range aura and then a short range aura. And while they, they might not specifically overlap, the fact that the two ships are together means that if you come in with these nine planes, instead of losing one and a half, you may lose three. And then that's gonna allow you six, you shoot with three, they leave and go away. And then as you're returning, you only have your three planes, but you lose three as you attempt to come back in. So there's no follow-up strike anyway. So why would you bring uh, why would you bring more than you need? Effectively, you're just putting three additional planes at risk. If you know it's going to be a suicide run, if you know it's just going to be a one-way trip, well then you can strike this, send three home, and take this down to six. So as six come in, lose three planes, shoot with three, and then you go out. You're not putting more assets at risk than what is required. You only need enough armor to get from point A to point B to make the strike and leave. That is what pre-dropping is. When people watch me play, they often ask, why don't you pre-drop? Well, the reason is because if I'm going to pre-drop, I wanna make it an informed decision. Again, if I'm gonna be flying all the way from point A to point B, I don't wanna handicap myself by going ahead and just dropping some of the payload. And then if I trip across a destroyer that has no escort, no friends, no AA, if I was in rocket planes, I might be able to get three shots against the DE, but instead I would only get two because I sent one of those uh, f one of those small flights home. Um, so in short, if you're going to pre-drop, do it because you know what you're going into, not because of some long-term investment strategy. Do it as an informed decision, not just something that uh, you're going to do just in case.